Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21st of the April Deco Daily Challenge. Mm, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. I'm still having some allergy things, some of you. Uh, uh, catch me like pausing a bit, it's because I don't know, my, my mouth is very itchy. Not gonna lie. Um, okay. So yes, I'm always on, on this page sometimes. If you look on the upper left, there's a claim secret reward. You click on it, you get 10 lead coins. And maybe sometimes you have to get, you add up to get a, um, a lead coat t-shirt or something like this. All right, today's problem is 879 profitable schemes. There is a group of N members, a list of various crimes they could commit. The IF crime generates a profit sub I and requires groups of I members to participate in it. I don't know why they're talking about crime. I'm gonna get like tracked by the FBI or something. And or also demonetization or something. And come on, lead code, why are you trying to get my YouTube in, in trouble? Anyway, I have a member participate in one crime, that member can participate in another crime, which is actually a, a probably a good strategy in general, because you know, you don't want to do two crimes at the same time. That's just like asking for it, right? So, uh, but if you do only one crime, then maybe they don't trace it. But anyway, okay, we don't have to talk about this part. Okay, anyway, let's call it a probable scheme. If any subset of these crimes generate at least min profit profit, and the total number of members participating in that subset of crimes is at most n. We turn the number of schemes that can be chosen since the, 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 the mod, where right? the first thing we do, we sing the mod song, because I always forget otherwise, uh, especially during a contest. Uh, I'm talking right now, so I didn't actually sing the song, but it usually goes like mod, 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 mod. Uh, if I have to guess, and it's going to be less than 20 or something, oh, 100. I was actually surprised. I thought it was going to be, um, I thought it was going to be a bit mass DP, to be honest. But, okay, let's let's actually read it. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. I, I thought that, yeah, okay, maybe I misunderstood a little bit. But basically, you have a groups of I, okay. And, and and the people are fungible, I guess, right? That's what I. That's the part that I guess I didn't realize. For some reason, I thought there'd be like distinct people, um, uh, and yeah. Okay, so, um, so I mean that's still going to be okay. Basically, the idea behind each um, crime, yeah, each crime, uh, each scheme, if you better, is. Um, So I'm trying to think a little bit, or I'm trying to be make sure that I'm very precise, and also maybe I just get it wrong, and that's fine. But yeah, basically each scheme, you just decide whether you do it or don't do it, right? So basically that, uh, just by saying that, impose um, a structure or an ordering which allows you to just go from left to right is the big part, um, because most these are only these are independent. Right, each each scheme is independent only in the sense that, or they're only dependent in the sense that they share n and uh, or the number of people or the number or and and a sort of a profit, right? So okay. Um. So the first it I uh the first thing I'm gonna think about is that um you know we have x people left, right? So maybe people we have index which defines the. Uh, the things that we have to process, going again left to right, um, and then the current profit, say. Eh, okay, maybe. Or well, profit left, maybe, right? Um, someone like that. And that should be good enough if you're a little bit slick with it. And what I mean by that is that um, it's very easy to make silly mistakes because um, I say this as first as a, as someone who has made many of these mistakes before, right? So this is zero to n, right? Clearly, um, so so first thing we should do before we fill out this this uh, function or just do, is try to figure out whether this is feasible, right? So here, um, dynamic programming, so to total time complexity is going to be roughly speaking time per input times number of inputs right so now we have to calculate the number of inputs people can go from zero to n index can go from zero to i don't know g for group right uh or scheme maybe it doesn't matter i mean they're, they're the same right uh and then profit left well profit left is this is the one that i i, I wanted to um 
uh, uh, kind of put an emphasis on um, because a naive a naive writing of this could go basically you know each profit uh, object each scheme can have a profit of 100 there could be a hundred of them so then profit could like if you write it write it um, from bottom or not bottom up just counting up right it could go from zero to zero to a hundred thousand or ten thousand sorry hundred square right um which is n oh no 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 g times g times uh max profit right which is which is ten thousand um and of course if you do the math then this is going to be a hundred a hundred and ten thousand that's going to be a hundred to the fourth which is what a billion is it a uh, hundred million so still too slow uh right so yeah but the, yeah, the other thing you can do which is what I, I you know just a mini optimization is going down instead i mean you can also still go up it doesn't matter but but going down means that here now we want to constrain by min profit right so just going down from min profit to zero will now go down to 100 which allows us to have 100 cube in the number of inputs right so number of inputs is equal to 100 cube now um, because now we're going to zero uh from counting down from 100 to zero so then we can kind of do the constraints that way you could do still counting up um by by compressing everything over 100 or everything over profit or everything over min profit you can just do like you know, compress it, that would still give you the the, um, the same answer. But, you know, it depends how you want to write it. But, but that is the key thing to note is that you can't just, like, naively add profit. You have to, like, do a little bit, slightly a little bit better. Okay. <coughs> um, and then now... This is uh, this is a million, which is going to be a little uh, more reasonable to do. Of course, then that means that we need everything else to be all of one, right? So each input has to take off one time. So this is basically how we how I would think about it. And then now we just throw it out um, as best as we can, going left to right, right? And just to make sure this is people left, maybe maybe that's a little bit clearer. Um, yeah, and then here maybe we, we said. Um, what do we say? G is equal to the length of groups, group, right? And then basically, if index is equal to G, then we count if profit left. We don't have to use everybody, right? Hmm, okay, I don't think so. So if profit left is equal to zero then we return one. That means that there's one way to do it. Otherwise, we return zero because that means that we still have profit re uh, requirements that we have to make, right? And then now, given scheme index, we either, um, you know, use the, I don't know if use is the right word, but use the scheme or not, right? So let's say, a uh, number of ways that we can uh, we can resolve the issue using the scheme, right? Num so I'm just going to write nums using scheme is equal to, okay, so count, right? So this scheme will use people left minus group sub index. Uh, index will be plus one because you move from left to right, as we said. And then profit left will be also minus uh, profit of index right I mean we're gonna do some extra things uh, as an if statement but I mean or we could just put it here which is with people left is less than zero we return zero if profit well I mean th this part is fine if profit left is great less than zero then profit left we set it to zero just basically set a four to it so that we don't get into the negatives too much but otherwise this should be good um and then nums not using scheme is just count people left well we didn't change anything index plus one we didn't change anything and profit left we also didn't change anything and then so they're just these two ways so then now we just have to add these two ways 
And of course, uh, as we know, there is a mod thing to this, so let's just do this to mod. Um, I, I will implore you if you're using uh, non-Python, uh, be a little bit careful on the uh, on the possible overflows. I think something that I, I mean, I'm very really well aware of, but in general, not all the time. Sometimes I'm sloppy, but in general, I'm very really well aware of it. But but, some, but I do forget to mention it even when I'm aware of it. But the idea here is that if this number is is going to be less than mod, and this number is less than mod, this can only be two times mod, right? Something like this, a little bit less than two times mod, obviously, but like two times mod or minus two or something. But so that this will at most be two two times mod minus two, which is still fits in an int. That said, you know, still have to be careful. Okay, other than that, we're mostly good. Now we just have to kick it off. We start with uh, n for the number of people, zero for index, and min profit for how much we have to profit. Let's give it a quick run, see if it's fast enough. It looks good for the inputs, which eh, maybe it's not speaking that much. But of course, we have to now remember to memorize uh, core part of this for dynamic programming. The key part of it is that the two things I guess I always mention, or uh, I don't always mention, but I should always mention, is that uh, noting that this is a DAG, right? Meaning that um, there are no cycles in the in the uh, core stack or the the core graph, rather, right? Um, yeah, there, there are no cycles in the core graph, so we should be pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then the other thing is just that, well, yeah, we already did the input things, so let, let's do it. Uh, what do we have? I always, the, the ordering is a little bit awkward, but, uh, but still. Uh, what is the second one? Oh, G, G plus one, say, just to be lazy. Or like, I don't know, don't want to think about it. I usually also convert it to the big N, but this time I'm a little bit lazy. Eh. It's a little bit too late. Anyway, yeah. All right, so now we set, set these to match these dimensions. And then that all we have to do after that is just add if has cache. I guess we could do the after the index is equal to g. Shouldn't matter though. Uh, people left, index, profit left, right? Cash. Uh, we, we return this thing. Uh, looks good. Let's give it some minute. Hopefully I don't have a typo or anything weird. And there we go. Apparently I did it last time in C. Huh. Uh, good old past Larry. And I guess I did it about the same way. <clears throat> uh, wow, that was... What is that? Four years ago now almost? Three and a half years ago? I've been on Decode for that long. Uh, that's actually kind of... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that now, to be honest. But in any case... Uh, yeah. Let me make this slightly smaller so it fits on one screen. Eh, close enough. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. And yeah. and you, What? Oh yeah. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.